I'm Rod Moore, this is The Art Biz Show, and in this week's episode, I want to talk to you about success and how you can create it, and more importantly, I want to talk to you about the difference between possibility and probability. Okay, welcome to this week's Art Biz Show talk. Now, I want to talk to you today about an experience that I had when I was in my early 20s. I was at a, a seminar, like a motivational personal development seminar. There was a chap on the stage who was talking about how to create success. And, you know, I was diligently writing it down, most of which I completely forgot and ignored and, you know, was in a book and I never looked at it again, right? Well, one thing that he said that resonated with me and is stuck in my mind, and I want to share that with you right now. And that is, there's two keys to success. There's possibility, and then there's probability, okay? How possible is it that you become successful? And how probable that you become successful? So let's talk about the first one, possibility. So any endeavor that you're pursuing, right? And and if you're watching this, it's because I assume you wanna be a successful artist. You wanna make an income from art. You wanna build a business around your art like I've done and become a full-time working artist or art teacher or whatever, however that art business looks, right? Um, So in any endeavor, the first question you have to get really right in your own mind is the possibility of success. There's no point pursuing an endeavor, a dream, a goal, or a vision, if you don't believe that it's possible for other people to become successful and for you to become successful in that goal, vision, or dream, right? So if you don't have 100% certainty that it's possible for you to become a successful full-time working artist or have a full-time art business, if you don't have 100% certainty in the possibility, you may as well stop right there and go and work on your own belief systems, right? Because if you don't believe it's possible, even if you have a little bit of nagging doubt, then that unconsciously is going to be like a handbrake on your efforts. So you'll go out and do things, but you'll never get good results. It'll be like being in a car with one foot on the accelerator, the other foot firmly on the brake. So what happens when you've got one foot on the brake, one foot on the accelerator, is you create a lot of energy, a lot of noise, the engine's racing, and it seems to be a lot of things going on, right? There's a lot of output, a lot of energy, but you're going nowhere, right? And it's very easy to get into an art business or start an art career and to expend a lot of energy and put have a lot of output, a lot of noise, um, use up a lot of fuel and resources and actually get nowhere with it, right? Because having doubt about the possibility will hold you back like having a foot on the on the brake and one on the accelerator and it's a very frustrating place to be it's a place that i've been in myself in my very early days of starting out in the art business so what you need to do is get to a point where it's 100 you have absolutely certainty in your own mind that it's 100 percent possible for you to become a full-time successful working artist okay now it's pretty easy to establish that belief system. All you have to do is look around. There's so many examples of artists today who are becoming successful um, through whatever means that they're pursuing. Uh, There's more examples of successful artists today than ever before. And how do you reach those people? How do you find them? Well, there's lots of podcasts. You know, I was just interviewed on Angie Knowles' podcast, Not the Starving Artist, you know, and I shared my story of how I became a full-time working artist and created an art business. So what you want to do is you want to find podcasts like that. Um, There's Artists Helping Artists and there's, uh, my mind's gone blank, but there's quite a few really good podcasts that you can go and listen to and listen to every interview of successful artists absorb everything that they're saying and and start to understand that if hey if that person can do it then i can do it as well right and build that belief in possibility because you have to have that before anything else if you doubt if you have any doubts or uncertainty or you don't believe it's possible you, you just won't take the right sort of actions that you need to take so go out and find examples of other artists who have created success right i mean look if 
if I can become a successful artist and build an art business around my art, then anybody can do it, right? But you have to have passion, mission, drive, and you've got to put a lot of effort in, and it, has, and it takes time. But the point is, you have to know that if I can do it, you can do it. It's 100% possible for anybody who has the drive and the determination to become a successful artist, right? So really, there should be no question at all in your mind as to the possibility. You should have 100% certainty because there are so many examples of other artists that have already done it. So it's 100% possible for you to become a full-time working artist or to build an art business. And um, you know, there's people have gone on and built art businesses around their skill as an artist that have made millions and millions of dollars, right? And I'm not, that may not be your goal, it may not be mine, but it's possible in this day and age, it's the greatest time in history for artists. There'll never be a time as good as it is right now. Now, I know a lot of older artists are gonna argue with me on that, and that's fine. Uh, if you wanna have a conversation about that, I'll explain to you all the reasons why. Today is the greatest time in history for artists, right? And it's the only time you've got, right? What happened yesterday and a decade's gone by are completely irrelevant today. And what's going to happen in the future? Well, that's just a guess. Right now, today is the best time. And it's 100% possible for you to become a full-time working artist, right? So once you get that mindset and that belief and that certainty, you can put that to one side, right? We don't have to think about that again. We know it's possible. There's examples everywhere. We go and find those examples. We build our own belief. So then it comes down to probability. Remember I said at the start, probability versus possibility of success. How probable is it for you to become a full-time working artist? Now, this is where you have control, right? There's a number of factors that determine the probability of your success. And the more you work on those factors, the more probable it will become. Now, some of you, like when I started out six or seven years ago, the probability of me becoming a successful artist was so low, it was probably about 5%, right? And um, I had to go and work on a number of different things. The first thing I had to do was work on my skill set as an artist. I had to learn the fundamentals um, of how to put together a painting. I had to learn, um, you know, I had to practice a lot. So I became unconsciously competent as an artist, right? So every artist has to do that. They have to master the basics of their craft, right? And when you do that, you come up the rung, of probability. You go from 5% to 20%, right? But that's not the only skill set that you need. You need to have the right mindset. With the right mindset, you jump up another 10 or 20%, okay? So you need to have, the, you have to work on yourself. You have to work on your own belief and your attitude and be positive and have, have the right energy, right? So another thing that will take you higher on the rung of probability is your productivity. There's no point doing one piece every month and you know 10 pieces of artwork a year. Um, that will bring you down the, the rung of probability unless you're already famous and you command huge prices, right? So for most of us, we have to be highly productive. And the more productive we are, the higher up that rung of probability we start to go. The other thing that's going to make you higher on the rung of probability is learning how to sell, learning how to market, right? Learning how to talk to a camera or your mobile phone so you can create videos talking about your artwork. That will push you higher up the rung of probability. Building a, a following on social media, right? So building a YouTube channel, a Facebook page, an Instagram account where you start to develop an audience of people who love you and they're passionate about your work. That'll push you higher and higher up the rung of probability. Now, the, the, the interesting thing is there's really only about a half a dozen things you need to focus on. Half a dozen at most. And within each of those half dozen things, of course, there's a lot of details and the devil's in the details. And we'll talk about that another time. But in terms of moving you up the ladder of probability towards 100% probability of success, there's a half a dozen things you need to master. You need to master the basic skills. You need to have great productivity and output so that you're creating product to sell. You need to have a right mindset. You need to be good at sales and marketing. You need to build an audience through social media. There's not a lot more that you need to really do you need consistency when doing all of that. And if you can get all that happening, you go higher and higher and higher up the probability rung. So now we've got 100% possibility and we're moving towards 100% probability. And if you can just stay focused and dedicated and committed for the longer term, because this is a long-term game plan, right? This is not an overnight bang, you're an instant success overnight. <laughs> it never happens. Um, I built my business over the last seven years, right? And I still haven't got to where I want to get. I've still got a long way to go. Right? So it's a long-term game plan. If you want to be a full-time working artist, you have to be in it for decades. Right? It's not going to happen overnight. 
two or three years before you start making some money out of it, five to 10 years before you start earning an income out of it, right? And then 10, 20, 30 years before you really start to build, if you want to, an empire around your artwork and build a business around your artwork that becomes impenetrable. So when the next recession comes, it doesn't affect you. You know, when the next disaster happens and art sales drop, you've got enough sources of income within your art business that you're not affected by those things. That takes decades, right? So to sum up, you have to believe in the probability of you becoming successful. You can't have doubts. You can't not believe it. You have to have 100% certainty that it's possible for you. And absolutely, it is 100% possible for you. If I can do it, you can do it, right? So forget that. Let's now go to work on probability. Let's get better at our craft. Let's increase our output so we're producing more product to sell. The more product you have in the marketplace to sell, the more chances of making a sale, right? And then creating multiple streams of income. Let's work on our mindset so that we feel empowered. We come with the right energy, positive, you know, and we attract good things to us. Um, sales and marketing. Let's get good at sales and marketing because we live in the day and the age where artists become successful by being self-representing artists. They don't rely on a third party these days. You have to build it yourself. So you have to become good at sales and marketing. And the more you focus on those half dozen things, the higher up that ladder of probability of success you'll go. And you don't need to be at 100% to start becoming a full-time artist. Trust me, I didn't get anywhere near 100% before I started to generate a full-time income out of my art business. My name is Rod Moore. This has been the Art Biz Show, and I hope that helps. See you next week on the Art Biz Show. Mm -hmm.